Hey, everybody, Anne here, and Betty. <laughs> She's a good girl. We're camping on Labor Day weekend. I've been trying to fish, haven't caught any. Uh, I've done a lot of different projects for the van. You saw one of them, uh, the uh, washing machine thing that works so good. It really does. I'm going to use it again tomorrow. I'll be here another day and uh, get some more clothes washed. And I've been cooking some great stuff. Um, I wish I could have cooked some fish, but I suck at fishing this weekend, apparently, for whatever reason. Um, you know, what am, what am I going to do? Oh, here, take a look. This is what I've been cooking all my food on. Most of it, at any rate. Yeah, I just kind of set up a grill over some rocks, basically. Throw some wood underneath there, let it cook down. Um, to, you know, basically charcoal then I put the grills over I balance them over those two stones and that works pretty good and see those fishing poles out there see them I've been fishing all weekend long and I have not caught one single fish glad I brought some other sources of protein with me but uh, yeah this kind of bummed I am NOT the world's greatest fisherman this weekend yeah, so um, I love cooking out over a campfire, especially since the owner, the female owner, Mrs. Owner of the lake came by um, with a wagon full of wood that she basically just pulled up and dropped off for me. And that was the best thing ever. I'm down to just a few more sticks. So I don't know, I'll have to go forage for some more. Um, I met some cool people, some interesting people. One poor guy came here, been here since Friday, and his his car wouldn't start, his battery was dead, and his phone was dead, his um, little, you know, power bank was dead, and um, he the guy was covered in tattoos, and he looked kind of desperate. Um, he had some really nice tattoos, so, I mean, he was head to toe, basically. He didn't have any, he didn't have any on his face, but... Um, and he said that nobody else would help him charge his phone or anything. I mean, he's basically stranded. Um, and of course, I have solar. I have free energy. So, yeah, definitely. Um, I charged his phone and his power bank. And uh, I would have cooked him dinner if he wanted <laughs> to eat, too. I just, I don't understand. I don't know. I guess I do understand why people judge people with tattoos. Because I guess they think that they've been to prison or something. Um, I haven't been in prison. I even I haven't even ever been arrested or gone to jail. And I have a ton of tattoos. See, they're all over the place. I got them. But um, yeah, so that was my good deed for the day. And so I'm here another day. I don't know what else I'm going to do project-wise. I've been making some adjustments to the van. I um, filled that filing cabinet with kitchen-type stuff. So I was able to empty out two large drawers, which I'm using to put my clothes in, which makes it so much easier because I had them just kind of stuffed in the compartments in those, um, what do you call them? What do you call them? The garment bags. Um, and I figured out a solution to hang my clothes from. So I'll be showing you that once I've got everything a little bit better organized in the van. Um, I filtered a little bit of water. You can see my little filter. I'm still using it and it is still filtering water 100% clean. It's awesome. Um, oh, I got a cool thing. You know what? I'm going to do a separate video on it. It is, I got one of those garden sprayers and I cannot tell you how awesome those things are. I mean, it totally, it's great. I'll just show it to you and you know I'm not gonna show it to you in this video I'll make another video for it there's so many different things you can do with it I took a full shower with it standing in front of my barn doors that were blocked off and um, oh my goodness it felt so good so I will do a video on that but um anyhow other than that that's just what's been going on with me oh except for this what do you do when you're craving nachos, specifically nachos, but then you remember, oh my God, I don't have a microwave oven? Well, you just use your cast iron skillet over your single burner stove. Just put the chips in the bottom, sprinkle some grated cheese, and sprinkle some hot sauce over it, any kind you want, and uh, put a lid over it. Let it cook for a little bit, a uh, couple minutes, and there you go. You have campfire nachos right on. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.